Hey, what's up everyone? Mark from Mighty Tonka Madness here. Let's see who we got with us today. Look at that. I can't believe it took me so long to make a video of my favorite Mighty of all time. That's right, it's the 1971 Mighty Bottom Dump. Super rare, super desirable. Very, very hard to find. I mean, these things can go for crazy money. This one right here is probably, I bet you this thing would go easily for $300. And it's not perfect by any means, but it's in pretty good shape. Finally took some time and got it all polished up the way it deserves to be. Look at this thing. Very, very nice. Nice and shiny. I gave it a quick polish. Put a coat of wax on it. Didn't do the inside. Notice that's still a little dirty. Slacking. Did the outside though. Got a camera ready. Super, super nice this thing is. I just, I love this thing so much. I just recently, recently picked this one up too. Came out of Florida, actually. Guy I know through some of the collector groups and stuff. Knew I knew I wanted one. Messed me one day, said, hey, got one down here if you want it. Stupid me, I turned it down at first. <laughs> Then later I changed my mind. He still came through for me. I actually traded one of my dump trucks that he wanted towards this one. And here it is. Very good shape. Beautiful truck's got all the decals. It's missing the oval in the front, as you see. That would have been a Tonka USA oval made from 70 to 73. Like I said, this is a 71, but you'll also notice it doesn't have the little um, vinyl bumper pads that you would see uh, that ended in, this bumper actually was in the 72 uh, catalog as the first year that they came out with it. But uh, as you'll learn, as you, if you wanna be a collector and as you start looking at things and looking at the websites and pages, groups, whatever, You'll learn about uh, crossover um, details, as a lot of people call them. Things that are in the catalog in one year, but they were, they either ended in one year and they were, you can see them the year after, or they were introduced in one year and you can see them the year before. So that's what this kind of is. Um, tended to do that during changes. You'll see some before and after the change. Um, but just what they did. So that's, I've never seen a um, 71 bottom dump with the pads yet. I don't know if any exists. I don't think so because I've only ever seen even in the catalogs and stuff they they have the 72 grill without the pads. But uh, yeah, so 71. This was the only year the frame was matched the color of the truck. They kind of changed the color a little bit in the later years. The, um, the, bo the bottom dump was made from 71 through 73. You'll actually see some of the 73 bottom dumps with uh, the oval decal on here. will actually have the yellow bottom, which wasn't introduced until 74. So, you know how it is. But uh, yeah, 71, one year only this, this was made looked like this um, a lot of decals on it got the side decals of course the front oval mighty Tonka side decals they had a uh, Tonka decal in the front you can see this one is missing the two little lights in the front um, this one is actually another oddity um, well this is how the 71 was made but it's odd because the mound min ovals 
um, they only made those until uh, 69, which you will see some on, on 70s, but on a 71, that's kind of unheard of, you know? But that's how they, that's just how they made the 71 bottom dumps. They made them to resemble the trailer of the regular Tonka bottom dumps, which had, of course, the mound men. So for the first year on the 71s, you will see they all have the mound men uh, oval where it says bottom dump. This one's kind of flaking off a little bit. These are the water transfer decals. 71 was also the year they started transition to the um, plastic uh, adhesive type decals. This is still a water transfer. So um, these, the gates move, open up, Let's see on the inside, open and close. A lot of times these handles are broken off or really bent or the little red tips are missing. Uh, they got one handle on this side, and uh, let me just spin this around quick. Um, you can see this would have been another decal, Tonka decal, like like that's in the front here, but uh, obviously it's kind of kind of peeling off, flaking off. And then here's the little little lights you see here and here. And over here, they have the uh, mighty balloon tires, they call them no letters or anything on the sidewalls. These were also made through 71. Then they changed to the XMB 975 tires, but no white on it. They were just black letters. Um, so let me uh, just get this thing spinned around here. the other side. This side's a little bit, got a little bit more peeling and whatever, but still very, very good shape. As you can see, it's got the soft vinyl air cleaners. Again, Mound Min decal. Here's the other gate. Like I said, they tend to have one face in one way, one face in the other way, for whatever reason. So, it's, uh, they're a tough find to find with the levers on them. Like I said, they're broken off a lot. I mean, these get rusty. You crank on them. They're thin metal. They don't, doesn't take much to bend it. And you bend it enough times and it snaps off. So, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is it. The elusive 71 Mighty Bottom Dump. Like I said, only year with the color match frame super super cool got this one all polished up polished no wax for his camera debut the king of the mighties i like to call it at least in my book like i said this is my number one all time just love this thing inside what it looks like like I said I didn't polish the inside I was slacking yep I know but yeah super super nice I mean, love it they've got the fifth wheel plate this one actually has a bolt in there because for whatever reason the, the original pin had came out of the trailer but uh, whoever owned it they put that bolt in there a little carriage bolt and it uh, Works very good. So. Awesome, awesome truck. Love this thing. Another shot on the front. Like I said, one year only. 1971. Mighty bottom dump. Thanks for checking out my video. Like always, um, if you haven't followed my page on Instagram and Facebook, please do so. And also, don't forget, I've got a YouTube channel now, so if you want to go over there and hit the subscribe button, that'd be great. And I'm going to keep making videos, going through my collection one by one, giving you all the Tonka tidbits. So stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you later.